Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Nat Blida. Crowdfunding needs updates. I only have one regular monthly donation now, which allows me only $50, but that by no means is enough, sadly. Sometimes I get random ones from folks who have me on their mind, are worried about me, but not on a regular basis. My former biggest regular donation, $200, ended as the person was donating to me and a ton of other folks the last two years. <laughs> With that though, I'm really struggling to afford cannabis and light self-care with our very tight budget. We can afford to pay our bills and get some cannabis through the month, but it's not always enough. Luckily, we got my monthly needs way down in the cost when compared to the year before, and we're working so hard to get my disability approved, hopefully later this year. In terms of needs, my biggest are affording cannabis and light self-care, like getting my nails done, plus thrift to find very used, cheap TY beanies to add to my big ass collection. Huh. I just need $500 to afford my cannabis and self-care throughout the month. $500 needed to afford all my cannabis for the month, plus very small self-care, love acts each week. That's asking for so much money. I just don't get where these people come from, where they honestly think that the world is responsible to fund their lifestyle or to pay for the things that they'd like. This next one is by CryD123. Rihanna got paid zero dollars to perform at the Super Bowl halftime show by the NFL, but did it for exposure for her brand. Over 28.5 million people watched her Super Bowl halftime show. Think about this the next time you're too big to work for exposure. <laughs> Well, the next time you know somebody outside of a big venue like the NFL, they can reach 28.5 million people consistently so somebody can get that kind of exposure, let me know. Otherwise, maybe you should think about that before you try to ask for exposure. This next one is from Least Clever Name Ever. Hey, I'm currently homeless and my only jacket was stolen the other night. If anyone has a black leather jacket, preferably large, that would be huge. These are the styles I like. Thanks so much. I can come pick it up. I would say that I'm shocked that they're offering to come pick it up, but considering they're asking for a leather jacket, which isn't cheap in and of itself, I guess that doesn't surprise me. This next one is by Wise Juff H. Taking Valentine's applications. Respect TikTok guidelines. Ideally from one of these countries, or Scavendanian. Must be 5'2 to 5'8 and under 500 kilograms. Willingly will cook. No male friends. Will not talk back and will be silent when we argue. Good working relationship with her dad. No smoking or vaping. Will wear sensible clothes. No flares or leggings. I'm willing to bet with how choosy they were, they probably had zero applications for Valentine's. This next one is from Ivy Elna. Hey girl, I don't know if you heard, but me and Blank are having a baby girl. <laughs> I really love your daughter's style and was wondering if instead of a gift, if you would send me her clothes that are too little, like posh peanut, monograms, Burberry, or anything designer. Congratulations on your pregnancy. Thank you for the compliments on Mary Charles's clothing. I want to keep some of her more expensive items for my future kids, but I can send you several things with tags still on it from Carter's, Nike, and some Posh Peanut. Also, I don't think our daughters will have the same monograms since your last name starts with an F. But if you're naming her something with an M, then I might have some items? <laughs> it's a gift, silly goose. You would need to get a new monogram on it before you send it to us. Her name is going to be Riley and May, and you can just buy new designer stuff for your next kids. We don't have money like that. Quite honestly, if you're not willing to send what I want, then don't even bother sending anything at all. My baby is only going to wear nice clothes. 
Well, it's amazing how this mother wants her child to grow up with a silver spoon in their mouth, but the mother doesn't even have the silver spoon to give. Based on how she's laying this foundation, I have to question if this baby will grow into being an entitled choosing beggar like her. This next one is by Popular Suit 3882. I will be looking for child care for my three kids, four days a week. I get my schedule a month at a time, and I'm able to pay $150 a week. Pay is bi-weekly. I work 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., so roughly 5.30 to 2.30, they would be with you. They are all boys, four in three weeks, two, and one the end of March. My two-year-old is autistic, so preferred someone who is experienced in that. I will be doing a background check on the individual I choose to hire to watch my children. I feel like the pro that I got out of this is the fact that this is a parent that'll actually make sure their kids are going to be around somebody that's not a fucking creep. Now, what they're willing to pay, I don't think they're going to end up getting somebody that meets what they're looking for, but you never know. This next one is from Spaghetti Sandwiches. This is a super long shot, <laughs> but I've never been to a concert and I absolutely love Morgan Whalen and Bailey Zimmerman and would love for them to be my first ever concert. <laughs> I always said if I can't afford good seats, then what's the point of even going? That being said, pit tickets are $686 a person and hubby wants to go just as much as I do, plus the insurance on two tickets. Just in case anything happens, we can get refunded, which I would 100% get back to anyone who has donated. Total comes around $1,800. May I add that we've been married for two years and just had our second baby last month, so we've been up and down financially and busy with two under two kids and never got a honeymoon, so this would count as it. If anyone can spare even $1 or $5, that would mean so much. People like this crack me up. They ask everybody to fund their recreational activities when they're outright saying that they don't want to go to a concert unless they can get the tickets that they want, which just goes to show they most likely can afford to go to the concert, just not pay for those tickets. This next one is from West Preen. I need four professional code writers that can build sophisticated app and social platform. Hard work for an extended amount of time, 18 to 30 weeks, and no pay up front or guarantee of outcome or pay. But I can almost assure you it'd be worth it. If it's a success, probably will be, you will be compensated. Considering how unprofessional this post was, I fail to see how you'll have any kind of success with whatever app you're building. This next one is by The Brianna. Hello photographers! Any chance y'all want to collaborate on some fresh photo shoots? Looking to spray tan the model a few days before and then can do the makeup. What's your budget? I can post in my photographer group if you're looking for a new or less expensive photographer. I'm looking for a few great photo shoots that I'll offer free tan and makeup for their model. Need some new work for my site as well as to work with some fresh photographers to shout their work out. Translation, I'm not paying anything. I have no budget. I'm trying to get some shit for free. And our final one is from Yash Kinson. What is your rate? 220 an hour, but I pretty much charge by the piece. What do you have in mind? I want to get something on my leg covered up, but that's out of my price range. Okay, well, Ink Money, Big City, and Idle Hands are local shops with great artists if you want to shop around. I'm out of the States at the moment anyway, so there would be a wait. Can't you cut me a deal? I'm a single mom. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if you run an orphanage, to be honest. Wow, fuck you dude how about i let everyone know you're a jackass being a single mom does not entitle you to any kind of deals in any way shape or form and i just don't get these people that feel like it's some kind of trophy that entitles them to special privilege just because they're a single parent all right that's enough beggars for the day
Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.